We are in Microsoft Word version 2019. And you can see there, we're in the Office Professional Plus. So let's take a look at how we can print a document. So I've gone ahead and typed, this is my Word doc. I've saved it to my desktop, although it doesn't matter if you save it or not. You can print even if you haven't. And now we're going to go to the print option. So we can go to where it says file and go to print. And when we print, we get a lot of different options. Now, first off, you have to have a printer already installed. So if you don't see a printer here, that means you're not going to get anywhere. So if you have multiple printers, you hit the drop down, you can see a lot of different printers here and select the one you want first. So before you make any changes to the settings, make sure you select your correct printer because the options may end up being different. Once you've selected your printer, you can click on printer properties if you'd like. And then that brings up the various different printer properties. And this one you can see it's a color printer. And we can go to the paper quality. We can change the letter to legal, et cetera, et cetera. We can go to the layout and we can say, let's go from portrait to landscape. And it gives you a little bit of an idea of what it's going to look like ahead of time. And then you also have the option to print on both sides if that printer supports it. And we can click on advanced and there's some different options. So yours is going to look different based on the type of printer that you have. Now, once you have the print printer property set the way you want, now you want to go to the word settings. So these settings may be a little bit different. So from here, we can choose to print all the pages, which is the default, or we can go in and say we want to do just specific pages, such as, such as print the current page. And there we go, just this page. You can also choose to print up things like the list of markups. So if there's any tracked changes that you would also like to print to see what changes were made to the document, you can choose that. There's styles, there's document info, such as the document properties, the file name, etc. All these different things can be printed in your document. You can also change to only print odd pages or even pages. And if you want, you can type in, say, let's go with specific pages, like 1, 5. Now, I don't have 5 in this document, so I'll go ahead and back that up. If you have a range of pages, you can go 1-10 to print the first, two, uh, first 10 pages. And you can separate any of those changes by a comma. So here we have the print one-sided, print on both sides, and print on both sides. Now, if you've already checked this option in the printer properties, uh, then you should see that reflected here. If not, then there's something that isn't quite supported, and it may not print the way you want it. Uh, you can do collated. That usually does work uh, as, as you want to. You can either do uncollated page if you're doing many copies of this. So all pages of one, number one first, all pages number two second. Collated will do one, two, three, et cetera, like that. So depending on how you want this to print out, it could help you when you go to sort these, and especially the bigger jobs. The letter option is here as well. Again, if you selected that in printer properties, it should be reflected right here. Otherwise, you can go ahead and select the printer, uh, the letter uh, size or the page size at that spot. And when you do change the to the different size, you'll actually uh, see how it changes it on the right-hand side. So I changed it to an envelope. I'll change it to A5, which is another size. And we'll go back to letter, and that's what it looks like on letter. Now you can also change the margins, which is where the printing begins. So you can have it go all the way to the edge. You could have it uh, go, come all the way in. You could have it mirrored. Uh, so there's several different options. Uh, narrow. Uh, normal, of course, is the default, which will give you a one-inch border all the way around. Then you can do pages per sheet. One page per sheet, two pages. Of course, you would have to have a smaller amount of text or pictures or whatever it is you have on there in order to choose some of these and still have them be legible by the time you print them out. When you're all done making all the different selections, you can go ahead and hit the print button and you'll be able to hear the printer go off in the background and your printing job should be complete. And there it goes. So that is the different printing options in Microsoft Word 2019, and these also work in previous versions such as 2016 or 2013.